Alright, we're here raking hay today. I'm going to try to show you a little bit just shortly how it rakes. If you've never seen hay rake before, we got our old rake back there if you can see it. I can get the camera right. You can see how it uh, rakes back there. But uh, anyway, we're going slower. This feels a little rough. Uh, so that I ain't jarring the camera around too much. Running about four miles an hour. But anyway, uh, you can see the wind rose behind me maybe. I'll try and give you a shot of the rope. But uh, hard to get. But anyway, uh, that's that. Not much to it. it just drags across the ground, the teeth rake it up, roll it up into a windrow. So uh, anyway, there you go. Well, I've got the camera turned around here. We're about to uh, finish up this uh, little field. Um, you can see it here. Got our windrows. That's uh, how you rake hay. So you can get it into the baler. Um, you can see the rake. Yeah, get over this bump there in the mirror. Anyway, see me a little bit. Um, this is an M and W rake. I believe that's right. Brand name wore off of it a long time ago. It's getting some age on it. Again, it's high on my list for a uh, replacement. Um, but. Uh, it's an eight wheel rake, folds out, folds back up for transportation. Um, and uh, you can fold it up to your corners like we're coming up here on in the field. But anyway, um, I'm probably gonna think about a 10 wheel rake next time. But uh, anyway, turned around here. Um, I'm looking at the cones, cone speed rakes. I like them, they're high clearance rake. Most people around here I see just, I guess, get the cheapest deal. Which they're not bad on, uh, on price. But uh, anyway, the rake back down there, big on this row. Um, yeah, I like the cone, it sits up high off the ground, the main frame does. You're getting these big tall windrows and a rake like this one. You can see sets just a little bit above the ground. It's kind of hard to uh, to straddle them. But uh, anyway, um, that's, uh, that's what we're looking at. But uh, we'll keep going with this one. Like I said before, this one's got some wheels and stuff on it already. Start where it breaks a lot of teeth off, but uh, anyway, um, raise this up again. There it's up, make the turn, but uh, anyway, um, we'll probably maybe for next season look at getting a new rate. And uh, if we got the funds to do it, anyway. Let you see how it folds down here. And keep on going. But, uh, anywho, I've been to the National Farm Machinery Show in the uh, Sunbelt Ag Expo. And, uh, I've looked at a lot of rakes. There's always a lot there. But uh, anyway, um, we'll uh, probably go with that cone. That's the best looking rack I've seen uh, in the price range that I'm looking for. There's a manufacturer of ladies here in Alabama. A company, I say it's he. Could be a she, for sure it's he. But uh, anywho, to another corner here. Um, makes a rake that pulls behind your tractor and then your baler hooks directly behind the rake. 
Uh, really nice idea. Uh, been saving a person a lot of time. But uh, fold it out again. Or fold it down, yeah. But uh, I think my fields are too small, a lot of them for that. This is a pretty good area here, it's pretty flat. Work here. But I got a lot of fields that's on hillsides, terrace rows, stuff like that. I just don't think it'd work out in there. I think they're on up there. They're probably worth what they're asking for. But, um, I just can't justify it. I can pay a guy to write for me, which I wish he would be here today, but I think they're on vacation. They're probably deserving. He's a good guy. But, uh, anyway, I'm right for that. Pay him for a long time for what one of those rakes costs. But anyway, well, I'm gonna put this phone down and finish this little spot up. Get the next little spot, see if we can get started bailing this. See ya.